Hey everybody, how's it going? This is Patrick with Stacking Layers. Today I'm bringing you a sneak peek at the all new BQ Hermit Crab. This is, if you can't tell by the box, a all-in-one quick tool changing kit. So basically this part goes to your printer and this clicks off and you can swap out with different tool plates. So you have a hot end and, or a, yeah, a hot end and a laser, or you wanna have a plotter, pen plotter, Final cutter, whatever, you name it, whatever you can dream of. You want to do chocolate 3D printing, you can have a chocolate hot end system that you click right on. The advantage is all of your wiring is already set up. You don't have to rewire your system to change out tools. Pretty amazing. So I wanted to show this off because I'm impressed. So let's get this thing opened. Pretty impressed with the box also. I'm a sucker for packaging and really enjoy the box, but you're not here to see that. Let's show you the system. So of course you got your instructions. Pretty straightforward. Nice little plant pamphlet set up. Um, one thing I do want to point out when I first opened this, I noticed that uh, they're t actually backwards. I believe I complete, can be completely wrong about this, but I believe in China, writing is from like top down and right to left. So books are backwards. I think Japan is also like that. I'm, I'm not sure, but um, I think that's what's going on here. So they kind of just follow their home format. But anyways, BQ, if you guys are listening for some reason, you might want to swap that around, put it from a left to right uh, format, top down, left, right. Um, just, just to make it quicker. But otherwise, once you realize what's going on here, it's very straightforward, easy to follow. So let's show you the tool. Packaging again, like I said, is really nice. Got a velvety material with very dense foam. So this thing's not gonna get broken in shipping, even if they throw it around, which my package came kind of dented. But the tool is safe. And let's get it out of here. So here it is. This is the Hermit Crab by BQ. A very nice, compact tool changing kit. And I may say this is very solid too. Light, all aluminum. Um, of course, there's plastic on here, but you got your nice black anodized aluminum set up. And I think there's also these parts are steel because they're going to be kind of, you know, wear resistant. I don't think that's aluminum. They, they feel a little bit more robust. But anyways, it's a very solid system. Um, the way you open it, you have this top lever here. You press down and it clicks right out. So those are the two pieces. This is your main unit that goes onto the printer. And this is the tool plate. I'll put that aside real quick and show you this. Very nicely designed, I think. Thick tracks for the hot stuff. So you got your hot ends are pretty thick lines inside there for uh, resistance and whatnot. Uh, I'm not an electrical engineer or anything, so I don't know exactly, but I know it's a good thing to have thick lines in there. Um, you got everything you can need, really. You got your hot end um, provisions. You got your fans, both always on and um, controllable fans. You got your thermistor your um, stepper motor setup. You have one of these are um, BL touch or probe style setups. And then you have your end stop plugin. So everything you need goes right into one loom and you're set. You don't have to change out things. It also comes pre drilled with a uh, linear rail for the MGN 12 linear rail setup here, these four holes. But uh, the kit that's available online now comes also with a, uh, a palm wheel adapter. So you can have either for palm wheels or linear rail systems. Basically, you can use it anywhere on any of your printers. Um, so a nice, nice touch there. And then on the tool plate, another great touch. You have all sorts of holes for different tools. So you got things like, I think like the Ender hot end can plug into these little guys here that uses the two screws to hold it on. You have the big slots that fit with the, uh, uh, the BQH2 direct drive setup. Um, I forget what the other ones were. It says somewhere in the instructions, but pretty much any any tools that you have you can plug in and it wouldn't really be difficult to make a quick adapter if you don't have holes that match so design wise I, i'm i'm pretty impressed with it uh, again there's the the matching plugins that you have here so you have your stepper motor your end stops for various types you got plus and minus going to it and you have two different sense pins you have on this side your bl touch style or probe sensor so you got your servo and then your z min setup all five pins are in there and then your fans and heaters and temperature sensors. So everything you can really need to get going. Um, so you plug all your stuff in, get it all nicely wired. And these are already wired to your motherboard. So that's sitting on your printer. You come in with your tool and you're done. Snap in, you're set, you're ready to print. And this thing is solid. I mean, it, it doesn't wiggle whatsoever. There's no play in it at all. So quality wise and, you know, the way it holds on to these, these little pins are pretty nice. I'm impressed. Really excited to get this installed on my printer. Um, show you what's inside the box here because again another thing that impressed me is how much it comes with <laughs> this thing is loaded uh, the, the 
production model that you buy now, um, if it's if it's you buy it on the internet, it comes with three tool plates. It comes with um, everything you see here and the palm wheels adapter, which I don't have. Um, I actually I won this as as a from a contest that they were holding a while back, and it just it su I surprisingly got this. I didn't even know what it was when I got it. So um, this is kind of a it's full and complete kit, but it's complete enough to use. So. I just want to point out that you do get three plates. You do get the palm wheel set up. So there's a lot more that you get instead of just this. So this is this is for the belt that attaches to the back for the belt. And then you get the full wiring loom. So, I mean, everything is already crimped with all the connectors and it's got labels already on everything. So very nicely done. Um, you don't have to worry about all that mess. It's, it's really a plug and play setup. I mean, even the, the wiring loom, the covering, it's all ready to go. You get your stepper motor connections and be able if I can get this out of here, just dump it, all of it out. And you got your yeah, deal touch and uh, stepper motor connector for the front part, and some tools, tweezers, a screw, tiny screwdriver for the green plugs, Allen wrench, some extra screws. I mean, right there alone, what comes in this starter box, you're, you're set. And then, like I said, three extra tool or two extra heads, tool plates. Um, palm wheel setup. If you want to use palm wheels, I recommend the linear rail. I think they do too. It's a little bit solid, so I'm going to be upgrading my printer, I think, for that. But I'll do a video once I get that installed so you can see what that looks like in action. Um, I do want to point out one other thing is that there is two units. There are two units. One of them is this one that I'm showing you. This is going to be the most general one to use because this one's designed for just standard uh, Marlin or any, any pretty much any type of printer setup. It's not strictly related to or restricted to BQ stuff or... or big tree stuff anything that can use linear rails or palm wheels you're ready to go um it, it's pretty straightforward but there's also a, a cam version so that one uses a usb plug but that one is kind of at the moment designed strictly for a uh, clipper i think it is and you have to use it with a raspberry pi um it's not marlin friendly because it uses marlin doesn't support can at the moment i don't think um, but i think something's soon coming out so a different setup basically it uses a usb plug-in um for, for transferring all this stuff and it uses a different type of format. So you will have to use um, Clipper and uh, Raspberry Pi set if you're gonna use that one. So pay attention if you're thinking about buying this, um, there are two versions. Get this one for standard everyday, you know, Marlin or any other regular ones. But if you wanna mess with the other one that's gonna be kind of a cool setup is with Clipper as the can version. So just pay attention to that if you're looking at them, there are two setups. So yeah. That is the BQ Hermit Crab. Um, hopefully you enjoyed this video. It was a little informative. Um, I'm still really new here, so let me know how bad or good I'm doing and any suggestions if you want me to fix things up. I'm still working on lighting and trying to get things going on here, but um, my channel's pretty new, so <laughs> working on it, guys. Uh, any questions, comments, please leave them down in the comment section. Um, let me know your thoughts about the channel and about the product. If you have any questions, I can give you the best of what I find out on here if you have any questions about what can be plugged in. Um, also want to point out this is in no way whatsoever sponsored by BQ. They did not send me this to make a video. This is not a, anything. I, I won this. This was a prize and I just wanted to show it because I'm super excited to get this installed. Um, so they don't even know I'm making this video right now. So just, just wanted to point that out. I'm not sponsored whatsoever. Um, so yeah, that's the BQ Hermit Crab. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed this. Let me know. And give me likes, thumbs ups, downs, whatever you feel is worth it for you. And subscribe if you want to see more whenever I come out with more. I'm working on trying to get a good flow. Um, let me know in the comments about that too. Give me any tips, anything you want to see. Anyways, until next time, thanks for watching. Talk to you later.